So this is a Kenmore Elite dishwasher and we've been having a lot of problems with it leaking. So we decided today to clean it up and it was really clogged. So we're gonna show here how we, um, how me and my wife did this. So when you open it up, um, what you have to do, the first thing you gotta do is this, um, so this is, instead of going righty tighty lefty loosey, in this case, righty is gonna be loosening it. So clockwise loosens it. And once you get it all the way loosened, you lift it off. There is a small washer that goes with this. So you wanna set these aside in a safe place where you know where they are. And then um, this can't pull, be pulled up. There's actually, right now I have these pulled out, but there's four of these screws and they go in here. Now these are T20s. So they're that, they're that bit right there. And what you gotta do is you can only reach uh, this one, this one, and this one. The fourth one is underneath this piece right here. So what you have to do, the best way to do it is up here. And, and actually I forgot to, to say, to pull, the, to pull the top one off, you can press this in and then just pop it right out. So you do that on both sides to pull that out. And then there's a clip right here, a metal clip. And that one's a little bit loose, but uh, I use this tool sometimes, like a, a plastic pry bar. And there's some metal clips right there. And you can just press on it, or you can just use your thumb. It's not a big deal. And then that'll pop out. And then there's a clip here. But to get that one out, pause it. So when you pull this out, since you've, you won't be able to take this up because there's still a screw in there. So what I found that you can do is you can kind of, you can kind of rotate this to the right like this, and then this will, will pop off of there enough like that. And then you can take off this piece right here. It makes it easier to pull it out like that. And when you look at it, the back of yours is going to be super dirty. It's going to be all kinds of dirt in the back here. Um, and then you want to set these all these pieces aside. So once you've gotten it all out, you'll have one more screw there that you'll take out. Then you can, at that point, um, to get this up, just so you know, you you can just pop it with a, this pry bar, and you can just kind of go like this. There's little clips around it, and then once you kind of popped it, you can, you can actually pull this off. And yours is probably going to have all kinds of junk in there. You're going to have to. I used a shop vac to vacuum it out, and then once you've pulled out these, then you can also remove this piece. And this will probably be super dirty as well. Um, this whole thing is probably gonna be full of all kinds of junk. Um, shop vac works really good to suck a lot of it out of there. And then, you know, you can clean everything up. And then when you're putting it back together, everything's just gonna be reversed. So you're gonna, you know, you, this thing will only go in a specific way. So you're gonna put it there, and then you're gonna wanna put the next piece to put in is going to be this one. So it's got a specific way it goes in, and then it'll it'll pop into place. It'll snap into place, and then you're going to have this piece that'll go in, and it'll just fit where wherever it fits. And then you're going to want to screw it down next. The last one. You don't want to over tighten, so just just get them a little bit snug, and that's good enough. Then you're gonna want to once you've cleaned this thing up, what you, probably is gonna work the best here. You're gonna have to put. This piece on, and 
and then There's probably a better way to do this, but you then just get that to snap in like that. And then um, you can press that back in the back. Make sure it snaps in up at the top. I don't know if I need to. There we go, it snapped. And then let's see, we've got this piece with the. Uh, so, first we want to put on the, the ring. Then you want to make sure these are facing up <laughs> and you notice that it has a little a little outlet there so this this has a spot where you're gonna have to spin it till you get it to the right to the right place hold on a second So there it starts and then and then I'm spinning it counterclockwise to tighten it and then that's tight so that's it and then it's all put back together so then you're gonna want to put the thing back in and and pop your clips back on and then you should be good to go